Hello, share to you. Too much hot. Very, very hot. Don't you think any um, is overheated? If you are if you are one hundred Fahrenheit, we are two hundred Fahrenheit. Hello and welcome to the gameplay stream. Good whatever to you. I will bring up the video in just a moment as I'm getting the Twitch category right because StreamYard does not offer that option. We are on part two of Nikocado Avocado playing through the Road to Elite and we will get through this today. It'll be just over two hours <clears throat> and that's about the length it'll take. Um, yeah, we'll do that until the match starts and hopefully I will remember to switch this to the match so you all can see some gameplay instead of this stupid face over the main event. Uh, Joey C won't let me on his show. I saw him in the comments uh, yelling at people. That's <laughs> I, I have no idea how to read that guy, Devil Storian. McFoyd is here. Oh my. <laughs> oh, that was a shitty George Decay, wasn't it? I think it was a shitty George Decay. <clears throat> I should have stopped it at the oh my. Shouldn't have gone towards the laugh. Uh, we will start out with a rampage match. I have added a few skills. Do you hear Kitty? Kitty Cat really wants to come in here. Might have to let, let her in if she doesn't give up in a moment. There's a whole house for her to explore. There's only a room. Oh, boo, young bucks. Um, so, in wrestling news, the young bucks are fighting for the tag team titles at Wembley Stadium. Yes, I will always call it Wembley because of the way Hulk Hogan pronounced it. Uh, in front of... Uh, 70,000 fans, um, they're going to win the tag titles. They can prove to everyone that they are not children, that they are professionals, and lose the match. There's no reason they should win the match other than to uh, fulfill their own ego and uh, their, their dreams. But um, I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to win. I don't think they're going to do business, rather. Putting over FTR, the most over-tag team, they should have done it last year. And they created the six-man division in order to uh, just play with their friends instead of doing business with the people who want to be there and want to put on the best matches. Oh, boy. I'll get to the uh, comments after the match. I saw there were a few coming in. I should have read them before I started. Oh, and I didn't get the music started. Can I do that really quick? If I just tag out, this could also... Brand, brand, brand. Music, 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 music. A little monotonous without the background music. Upbeat music one. Here we go. DMCA free, and I still did not write it down. Who exactly did this? Because it's free, but you know, people still did it. I'm not getting AI music. 18%. Okay, okay, okay. And now the best tag team in the world, according to themselves. They were in the conversation. They're not in the conversation anymore. I did just listen to Cornette's podcast. That's the exact wording he, he went through. And it's like, yeah, they're, they're not. They're going to force themselves to the top of the card. In front of the biggest crowd they've ever had. When they should. It's a it, Hollywood has the same type of thing with performance. Some people want to be the leading man. I'm obviously... The, the character actor. Look at the, look at his fucking face. So the there there's some people who don't want to be anything other than the leading man. They don't want to show their ass. And literally sometimes you got to show your ass in acting. Got to be prepared for showing your ass, looking the fool. And that that was one of my friend's problems. Uh, who I knew locally in Maryland that went out to Los Angeles that just wanted to be. Oh come on! I'm too close to him. You, uh, never never wanted to be the fool. You, like, you're playing a role. Sometimes the, you're, the role you're playing is the, is the fool. Okay, let's let's check out to Darby. Let's check out to Darby. A drop kick? That, that's not right. I'd need to go and change that. It's this one, yes. 
And then I'll get to these chats once I'm on the ring apron. Everyone feels a little too sluggish. It is proper for Nikocado Avocado to be this sluggish, though. Oh, not a double team move? That wasn't. I uh, haven't figured out double teams on this yet. Over to the chat while I'm on the ring apron. Oh, God damn it, Darby. I was going to read the chat, and you ruined it by pinning him right then and there. Coming to the chat soon. Once this... Once the game forces me to go back. Okay, where where did I leave off? Uh, Joey C is afraid. Devil story. And did you join the Discord? I sent the. Uh, I haven't jo joined the uh, Discord yet. I'm uh, so something of an idiot on Discord at times. I kind of half know how to use it, and Turbo Neil Breen is always tagging everyone. I'm uh, and I stop paying attention to it. Please stop doing that, Turbo Neil Breen. It's fucking annoying. Oh, we're stuck. Until Darby gets up, we're stuck. <laughs> In real life, it says McFoyd. I'll uh, get to his uh, next one. Do you watch WWE? I haven't watched wrestling in a long time. Hopefully we're not soft locked. Just get up, Darby. Um, I'm, uh, the Royal Rumble was the last thing I watched. Um, LA Knight is for actually from Hagerstown, Maryland, like two towns over from where I grew up. So I've got even more reason to say I want to see him do well, a local boy, uh, like the most charismatic guy on the roster. Anytime I see him, he's do he's doing really fun. Really, I can't get into that. Oh, there I go. Um, that Bray Wyatt match at the Royal Rumble. What the fuck? I've got a black light, and the black light is the big gimmick. Look, we upset a, a cup of water, and it has black light confetti in it. Ooh. Very shitty. Like, like uh, Bray Wyatt has had so many shitty, shitty m matches that he just thought were great. Like the one where they had the um, the maggots and the flies and stuff and the cockroaches projected on the ring. That worked once, and they did it three times. He thinks he's a creative genius. He's got good ideas that needs an editor to go through. Tina Piazza, hello, hello. Thank you for joining on Twitch. Thank you for chatting on Twitch. Uh, Twitch is the is the weird one. You have to have chatters, simultaneous chatters to get... Ha ha ha, you missed. Oh, that's my partner. Fuck. Uh, the tag matches are just missing something. They were very fun in the N64 uh, games that this took inspiration from, that this... Uh, same team when they were young, uh, a younger company put out there's something just really missing of the tag matches that they had in the in 64 and part of it is you know being locked here there's less oh I, ca I can't do more okay I guess I've just got to experiment I, I, I just have contempt for the fact this game is forcing me to see the young buck smug stupid fucking face Okay, and in. No way I was breaking that up. All right, Devil Story and had one I missed. I also arranged an interview with Dela and DG. Oh, you're going down the DG rabbit hole. <laughs> Uh, that that's uh, deep into the into the Joey C rabbit hole, getting some DG, and he's one of the ones I think we discussed that uh, just looks at the camera, uh, like you, like I'm talking to the camera while I'm looking at it, and he's not even playing a video game. I'm <laughs> I'm I'm soft locked. I'm not doing that. <laughs> this is a good beta. A very good beta. I can't wait for the patch. <laughs> do I have control again? Do, can I do stuff? N nope. <laughs> this is this is all the computer doing. Do I just have have no control? Did they say you're you're no longer Nikocado? The computer is Nikocado now. <laughs> this is such a beta build that they put out. Solid foundation. And 
Tony Khan called this a finished game months and months ago. What a foolish fool. Go talk to you, all your friends that you bought, Tony. All right, we've got control back. I don't know what that was where we lost control there. That's a new glitch. Ah, just fucking... Pin. Yeah, 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 there we go. Darby's gonna get a small package. And I can not get there in time. Fucking hell. Oh, but Darby's at the danger. It's not the... It, oh, it took... It, did I accidentally do that? It's so difficult to break, uh, break up that pin breakup. Uh, stop the guy from breaking up the pin. There's a certain strategery you were able to do in the N64 games, which I said this is going to be exactly like, but it's kind of like. It's not exactly like those. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, once again, the computer has taken hold of my character while trying to get me back to my corner. One of the bucks is soft locked. We have not experienced this many glitches. Uh, it's the tag matches that appear to be very glitched. And once again, I can't do anything. The computer took control of them. Oh, do I have control back? Nope. Oh boy. These these tag matches are a problem here, developers. Certainly you've, you've noticed this. And trying to get me back to the corner you said, uh, we'll take care. Do I have control? Nope, don't have control. The singles match. Uh, I've played, like, no tag match at all when um, uh, when an exhibition. I still haven't unlocked. Do I have control? I think I have control. Nope, don't have control. So, yeah, these, uh, t these tag matches, they don't even have six-man tag team matches. I, I, I don't like the tag matches at all. The six-man tag team is very much part of their... Don't have control. Uh, the six-man tag team matches is very much part of their um, storylines and what the Young Bucks, the uh, EVPs, who um, don't know how to do business, just know how to make themselves look... At, let's fucking quit this. How, how, long, how long do I need to hold this up showing their, uh, I don't have control of Nikocado Avocado? We lost the match. The um, the fool of themselves bucks won that match. We've experienced glitches. That is the glitchiest match I have experienced. I think. I think at all. Well, there was one online match pl I played where I was DMX and I got my opponent into a submission hold and we were just stuck there eternally he wasn't submitting i was uh j just holding the hold i was like maybe, maybe i'll win eventually i'll stay here but the other guy of course was like enough of this we're obviously locked i still think he he might have quit eventually one more week of this and then we will be on uh, which, which one was I saying? Wrestle Quest. Wrestle Quest is coming out. That is an independent uh, wrestling game that has a lot of hype behind it. A small team delayed very last minute because of glitches they found instead of pushed out as soon as we can because the billionaire boy boss says, no, it's, it's good. We can send that out to the public. No, you can't. No, you can't. Not without them being upset. Yeah, not having a lot of fun in this uh, in between time. That's a uh, the Fear Axis uh, Marvel uh, Midnight Suns. I haven't bought that for that exact reason. Everyone says this gets high marks because of the fight mechanics. Everything in between that is fucking garbage. <clears throat> and that's how uh, that's how I feel of these in between times you have you have a concept and the, the mini games as you as you saw it should be incorporated in, in here i want to get my 
food spit on for being a dickhead. Well, if it isn't Nikocado enjoying some of Canada's finest cuisine. It's good stuff. It's a shape. It, he's not mukbanging. I, mean, I need a mukbang option. That's how Nikocado Avocado eats. Try finding it at poutine in Japan. It's impossible. Look, I hate this dialogue. Jesus. Yeah, we're looking for anime otaku, uh, anime otaku at the gym. Oof. Kenny Omega wrote this dialogue himself. Oh, I guess I can turn that off. There we go. All right, is it time for, for the match? Uh, go out dining. Um, like I, I don't want to. Oh, the work. No, we're going straight there. Fuck it. <clears throat> yeah, we're going. We're going to the match. We would get off. We uh, we would get some more points. Yeah, the, you could just get so much in-game currency. It's uh, it's a little broken uh, how easily you can get in-game currency and buy everything. Solid foundation. I, I, I would love uh, to keep uh, to keep on playing this. I'll come back to it. Dabble Storian and Joey are arguing. I think that's the way he communicates, is arguing. He's either a yes man or he's uh, arguing with you. Those are the two states I have seen Joey, state, uh, Joey C in. Is yes man and in a big fight. <laughs> yeah, so, so I'm in the comments section of, of the... Uh, of uh, internal uh, affairs video on Bill Loney's channel. Uh, how dare you? He's always angry at something if he's just not completely agreeing. Oh, and if I keep talking about him, I'm going to get on his radar and have to communicate with him. He says he doesn't care about the UK. Well, welcome to uh, spe speaking with, with Americans. This this is the land of the uh, of the earth. Oh, he's a Jersey guy. That that's right. He's like a cliche um, <clears throat> Sopranos character, a Sopranos side character, like that fat guy that got uh, killed off for speaking up. Carlo, Carlo ended up stabbing him. Uh, Silvio started it. Carlo was such a small side character in the crew, but he's. Uh, I saw a video someone did on him, like. Look, we can see that Carlo is going to turn. He's a little sniveling foot soldier who tries to push the blame off to someone else. And there's many examples of that with Carlo. And a lot of people didn't even know who the fuck Carlo is, including me, when they said Carlo flipped. Which fucking one was Carlo? He was the he was the one that was not as much of a man as Polly Walnuts. And Silvio, man, that uh, the the movie, uh, Many Saints of New uh, New York, uh, of Newark, not not New York. That was that was a series. They had too much going on there. Th that um, they tried to put in a box smaller than it belonged in. They, they had. Uh, what, what, what is it? Uh, Ten pounds of shit in a five-pound bag? Yeah, that's the saying. I guess it was two and a half hours, like three hours, and like it was like a ten-episode run. They they had a ten-episode run in a two and a half-episode bag. And it really suffered from trying to do so much with so many people. And uh, uh, talking of the many saints of New York, it's the, uh, the the mob guys. Like they implied that Silvio grew up with Tony, not that he was a mob guy the entire time. I really don't want to tag out since I got so fucking glitched after I tagged out last time. And, and plus, there isn't really much you can do on the ring apron. We're fucking up John Moxley very nicely. 
so no reason to tag in our buddy Darby Allen. Oh, the, are we still in the fucking unlikely par uh, partner storyline? If I do a career mode next week, I'm just save scumming the battle royal till I win. I do not want to do that storyline again. What's over on the other side? I'm, I'm starting with the second match on stream and save scumming the battle royal till I win. I fucking hate the unlikely partner storyline you have to do every time out of the box when you lose the battle royal. And you're going to hit that most of the time. It's, you know, 20 guys and you're in there from the start. It's harder, harder to win that battle royal. And we killed uh, Eddie Kingston. Nice knowing you, Eddie. Uh, oh, oh, it's a... Oh, Nikocado Avocado doesn't get on the top rope. That's shenanigans. He would fall. Falling is what Nikocado would do. Of, of all the things I put in there, you're really doing that to me with Nikocado Avocado coming off the top rope. He would not do such a thing. You should join our Discord. It's a group chat with an exchange of ideas. I know Dela wants to talk to you about some co-host ideas. Uh, you, yeah, I just need to be uh, more active on there. Uh, you said you sent me over on Discord, so uh, I, sh I guess I should have the uh, over on Discord. I should have the notification next time I open it. I'm I, I've been a very old man with that. With that, I get get in the uh, chat rooms for the live shows and chat for a little bit. And other than that, navigating my way around, I am like an octogenarian at times. So I just have to dive more into it. And yeah, I'm down to join the uh, Discord and get in some chats over there, Devil Story. And Tony Khan, getting word that Nick Akato Avocado is doing better after taking that scary coffin drop on AEW Dynamite. It wasn't even a pay-per-view. You save those big bumps for pay-per-view. Oh, this is AEW. They have no restraint. No restraint, Khan. I want to like you, Tony. Or, or your company. Uh, I, I don't know how much I would like you, billionaire boy. Lonely billionaire boy with dozens of friends he paid for, including Darby Allen and Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks, but not CM Punk. He's a professional. He goes to work. Everyone else hangs out with their friends and takes advantage of a billionaire boy. That billionaire boy wants friends and likes wrestling. We'll workshop the Tony Khan song. Okay, Gmail. Yeah, we've been uh, communicating through Gmail. I'll definitely find it there. I'm not an 80-year-old man with uh, Gmail. I, I can navigate that. Not an 80-year-old man with iMovie anymore, either. Even when I was uh, editing videos uh, previously, years ago, I was so basic bitch with it. Now, um, I lost the bitch. The next level up from basic bitch is just basic. And that's me on iMovie right now. Did I take... Oh, no, I dropped out of that editing class. Or not dropped out. I dropped that editing class in college. The teacher was, was a dick bag. I can't believe I didn't take the time to give credit to the uh, DMCA free music this week. Uh, that was on the top of my list. Actually, I've got a whole lot of notes of what I wanted to do for pre- and post-production that I only did some of this week. So we, uh, Nick Akato and Darby Allen now respect each other after tagging and glitching out together. They, they had an old fun glitchy time together. Then they had a match and Darby was like, do my spot, do my spot. And Nick Akato did his spot. He's eating him. 
fighting I thought was a uh, great move for Nick Akato Avocado, a mukbanger. Actually, someone told me he's trying to lose weight. Is, is he dropping the mukbangs or is he mukbanging celery now? He could get a double stream. Uh, eating celery is uh, crunchy, so that mukbang stream could also be an ASMR stream. Apparently, Ryback got popular with an ASMR stream. There was someone we were chatting with. Was it uh, Piazza uh, McFoy? One of those uh, fellows knew him from his ASMR potato chip eating and not at all from his wrestling. <laughs> and Ryback still thinks he's a big thing in wrestling, even though he hasn't done it in damn near a decade. He's the anti-Cody Rhodes, is Ryback. Cody Rhodes left WWE, made a big name for himself, and then he came back and he's the biggest thing in the world. Biggest thing, biggest good guy next to... No, biggest good guy. Ryback left WWE and came up with conspiracy theories uh, on how Vince McMahon is keeping him down. Did nothing on the independent scene. Has no reputation whatsoever because he just... Went into his basement and started podcasting at some point. Oh, he sells supplements. I guess I should... If I get monetized, I'll buy some Ryback supplements. That That's coming out of the business account. I'm not personally giving Ryback money for his supplements. And I'm not a supplement kind of guy. So it's not like I'm using them for me. Maybe he'll turn me, right? Maybe Ryback's supplements are such a good product, he will change my mind. Ah, there's the dropkick again. The dropkick on Nikocado is just improper. I think whatever move there was improper. I think it's just a choice of dropkicks. For the created wrestler. All right, and you used up your small package on me. <laughs> This should be it. Nikocado, avocado. The, the way I make creative players on here is just try to see someone that kind of sort of looks like them. It's bare bones, the uh, cr creative player, and the outfits that you unlock throughout the way are so odd. It's just t-shirts with Austin, Texas. Boston, Massachusetts, Los Angeles on them. And we want unique attire. We want uh, tights with different patterns on them so I can make Lance Storm without putting him in boxer shorts with a Canadian flag on him because it's so bare bones. Uh, the uh, tights, the, the pants selection in general. We don't have all the wrestlers' pants available. Kenny Omega, we can... All of Kenny Omega's uh, various tights are in there. Kenny Omega has the most different outfits and they're all in the creative wrestler whereas almost almost none of the other wrestlers are uh, kenny omega and the young bucks are not evps <laughs> they have been put in charge of divisions and they and they just like i i really like video games let's make sure we polish my character up nicely i really like winning the tag title in front of the biggest crowd we've ever had despite the fact that it doesn't make sense for business that one actually is getting me frustrated. The, the Young Bucks can prove me wrong. You do business, and you lose in Wembley Stadium, Young Bucks, and you will, you will turn me around. Jayla apparently has an interview on uh, Wednesday he might need help with. Yeah, I'll jump in the Discord, see if there's anything I can offer there, Dabble Storian. Get in there. Uh, shouldn't be too, I don't think I have any uh, chores or anything. Yeah, it's just getting ahead on, on editing and a few things. I should be able to jump in there shortly after the stream. And yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do next week. If I'm going to do another created player, because we're, we're picking up on WrestleQuest the week after. It takes two streams. I could do a four-hour stream, but I start pooping out at, a, at about two hours, 30 minutes in with uh, things to ramble on about. So we, we are looking at quality of... Uh, ramblingness as well as getting through the campaign maybe we'll try online online is hit or miss people have been saying there's like 50 people or less on the Nintendo servers and 
Uh, once again, I'm an octogenarian in that area. I don't know how to look at that. Maybe it's somewhere on screen that I'm just not looking at. And good, I didn't get injured. Let's go out dining, go to the other match. And yeah, there's... Why not insert a mini game in the dining section? Why is it a separate thing? And then you're going to put up a picture of the food that I'm like, yummy, yummy. Get in my tummy when I'm going to be stuck here for another 90 minutes or so. So many odd choices. Like just looking at the menu and getting different stats. from Yeah, t so, so a lot of odd choices. But uh, I, I will, I do and will continue to blame those odd choices on Kenny Omega. The head of the gaming division who never worked in video games in his fucking life. He could be in the gaming division, but being the head of the gaming division? Tony Khan doesn't even know how to give his uh, friends jobs properly. Well, then again, no one does. Uh, TNA had the same problem with uh, Dixie Carter giving all her friends jobs, and uh, it was the marketing department. I think I mentioned this at, uh, last time of the uh, total nonstop action 18-wheeler never getting a rap on it. It's a rolling billboard. That's actually part of a, uh, a friend of mine who's a driver's job we got nothing today go billboard take around this moving billboard and tna in all the time aj styles was there never got it wrapped my roommate's just discovering uh perk angle now kurt angle had a whole second career even longer than his time in wwe his tna run uh fuck you fuck you moxley What does Renee think? She didn't know, th like, uh, this ultra-violent uh, seeking guy when he was in WWE. And people have described it as uh, Stone Cold meets Nick Gage cosplay. And I'm I'm not a fan of, of Nick Gage, CZW, the whole ultra-violent. They took the wrong message from ECW. And now we still see that wrong message on television to this day on TNT Wednesday nights because Moxie he loves to bleed and chopsticks I think that's the first time that they brought that to America or at least American television that stabbing a guy with chopsticks that's oh that's the wrestling Moxley brings to the table some people are for it I'm a Gannett I'm an FTR guy I'm a CM Punk guy. L.A. Knight. Check out L.A. Knight's uh, uh, shoes. Shoes of a champion promo, if you haven't seen it. That's his classic mess up uh, from NWA wrestling that he rolled with, and it worked out fun. All right, I might be able to put this uh, difficulty up to the next level for single matches. I'm starting to get pretty darn good here. And it's unfortunate that Nick Akato's uh, win-loss record is going to reflect much better than DMX's. That's, but that's also all elite wrestling. Oh, he got me with the Austin punches. And it's very all elite wrestling for Nick Akato to have a better record than DMX. Orange Cassidy is like a Disco Inferno character to me. The fact that he's got like the best win-loss record and been a champion for this entire year. That's not the way you win him over to us, Tony. Uh, humility. You have Orange Cassidy lose. Oh, I didn't take this down. Here. You're, you're missing Aub Aubrey Ed Edward. I forget to take to the smaller view sometimes. I even We're ready for the finisher. I've messed you up enough. I thought that was the steel finisher. I equipped him with the uh, steel fi steel opponent's finisher. I guess I, guess I didn't. Uh, maybe I grapple him first? Before I went live, I went ahead and equipped some abilities. And I took it off that, <laughs> that view just in time to take it right back. 
Devil Storian saying, Joey C is afraid of me, Bill, and Dela. Maybe because of hypocrisy police internal affairs. Yeah, I saw his comment uh, flipping out about it, claiming it was something else. But um, <laughs> that, that um, what, was I, what was I saying? Agre agreeing or yelling? He's, cho he's chosen yelling with you guys instead of agreeing. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, Dayla, this is as fat as they get. The big show does not look proper either. The the big show isn't that much taller than all the all the other wrestlers. So this is the fattest th that you can equip someone. So that's uh how I got, how I got Nick Akato here. DMX looks really good. I already did one one run through with DMX. Um Lance Storm looks so so and and the hair as well. The the, the hair is uh, not particularly great for Nikocado avocado yeah the uh, uh, the WWE two, uh, 2k especially with the modding they have over there you can create cartoon characters there's a big modding community where you create whatever you want I'm the one I yeah I don't even want to do, do this I hate I hate the dialogue in these cutscenes I, I want to like it and once again we'll blame Kenny Omega it's his fault for everything the uh, the creative player, yeah. W when I see something like that, kind of sorta looks like what I'm going for. I'll, I'll go for that. Uh, one of the other created players are Iho del Diablo, because uh, they have all the creatings to make a devil looking thing with the body paint and everything. So Iho del Diablo is looking badass. Which one else? E e Eon Flux is my one female uh, character. I, I ran her through a career mode, uh, not on stream, and it's uh, the ladies don't have a separate one. They, they have a separate, a, a different opening and ending, but it's just like, um, we, we don't have time to program this. Just put in a cutscene. Oh, you're competing with men now. You're China. Upbeat music number two. Oh, this is the one I featured in the uh, TikTok around the clock. This is a fun one. I especially need to grab the name of this one. I now think of the booby lady. I think it was Sophia, just her chest like that, like that. For she just does that for hours. Uh, favorite wrestling game? Uh, can I say Def Jam Fight for New York? Uh, that kind of is a wrestling game. It kind of isn't. It was uh, the engine from uh, WCW, NWO, and the WWE games. Um, I actually didn't play No Mercy that much. Uh, that, like that's uh, seen as the beacon. But the uh, WCW ones, I played the hell out of. So even though Revenge is less than, I have better uh, memories of WCW NWO Revenge than No Mercy, despite the fact I know No Mercy is uh, better than um, than Revenge. I, I just played Revenge so, so much more often. But De Def Jam Fight for New York. If that's a wrestling game or a fighting game, th that's what I like about this. It does have a Def Jam Fight for New York um, tinge to it. The, the updated engine, they said, was no mercy they were shooting for. Uh, but to me, I was like, I want the updated engine to be Def Jam Fight for New York. That I love that game. And my uh, create, first created wrestler, I wanted to be Method Man, but I wasn't getting anyone to look fucking shit like Method Man. DMX is within reason. DMX isn't bad. Method Man was going to look like shit. So I was like, we're going with another rapper. I saw Nick Cage live at PWG. PWG was a really fun show in a teeny, teeny venue. And you could get it, your own personal pitcher. Uh, you go up, order a pitcher, and just sip on it. At intermission, fill it up. Or no, you fi I, I could fill it up a couple of times. Intermission was pee time. They stayed at that small venue way too long. There was a demand for for tickets there. Sofia Vergara showed up there at some point. That, like There was a demand for them to go to an actual venue years before PWG started going. Uh, where was it? Downtown Los Angeles. I actually... Never went to PWG when they moved to the real venue, Pinocchio.
but very fun show. W one of the few shows I had so much fun at, but I still walked out early because I, I was just tired. I think I would had already three and a half, four hours of wrestling. Uh, the Young Bucks had a six-man tag team match with Kevin Owens. And Kevin Owens wearing that uh, Rockers uh, knockoff stuff, I find much more fun than the Young Bucks and their stupid smug face. But whatever the main event was, I'm like, I'm tired. This has been fun. I'd love to stick around longer. Oh, I got my special. Shit. Don't go away. Don't go away. Don't go away, special. Nope, oh, it's going away. Ah, and now I look the other way. It's very easy for me to accidentally hit that. I should map it differently. King of all diffs stopping in. Thanks for stopping in during the gameplay. I tried to make uh, as many basic moves as I can for Nick Nikocado. Yeah, all right. We got a submission with the um, uh, with the blah, 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 bear hug. Let's see. We left off somewhere. Oh, yes. I brought this up but didn't read it. Patrick Michael threatened to dox me the other day. Patty, uh, Patty Seacups doing the um, uh, doing the uh, the mud shark. Going to dox you. Going to tell everyone about you. I like the early 2000s Raw WWE. Oh, oh here comes the pain. Uh, after that one, the quality dropped off. Uh, was it Shut Your Mouth before it? Uh, yeah, SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain, I think is undisputedly uh, another one like No Mercy, where people look back at it and say, this is top uh, of the line and the roster. Uh, losing a lot of big names like uh, Goldberg. And um, was that the year? They, they've had Steve Austin and Eddie Guerrero in video games just always to help pad out the roster and make it look bigger. If Avocado grabbed me like that, I'd want to die. Yeah, maybe I should switch the bear hug to his finisher. Well, I only have one finisher, and I did the uh, power slam. Power slam. What the fuck is this song? I might have to take this out of the, uh, out of the mix. This goes in the psychedelic mix, not the game mix. All I said uh, to him was, let's grab a pint together patty on you, and he lost it. That's like Dark Side Phil as well. Dark Side Phil flipped out at someone saying, hey, I'll, I'll be in the Renton era. Maybe I'll see you there. What? This stalker is threatening me. I can't believe it. On my own stream. You all saw it. I was threatened. <laughs> Just a guy saying, hey, hey, be in your neck of the woods. I watch you. Let's hang out. I can't believe those uh, the, uh, seven. Uh, who was it? I think Super Crazy did a DSP uh, analyzation. Like, who are these whales? Uh, that that could be Carl's new show. Who are these pay pigs? Um, they and he was like, there are seven. There are seven people keeping Dark Side Phil afloat. So we can look forward uh, to hopefully one day having seven people keep us afloat as we just bilk them for money and say it's not begging. I'm not begging, but I've got my bills to pay. I haven't seen the, a new uh, him talking about his bills in a uh, compilation. And let me take this to a lower. Uh, do I think I could get Joey C on a show, Dabble Story and Ask? Uh, as I've mentioned, I, I'm, I'd like to avoid going down that, <laughs> that rabbit hole. Look, uh, since we're in the same circle of madness uh i imagine some point we'll cross cross paths uh i'm not seeking it out at this exact moment joey c or dg but if i get on joey c's radar i'm i'm sure he will uh let me know that everyone has said that's the strategy of joey c is just bombarding you <laughs> with requests that's the word going around town from all accounts AEW collision has a different tone than dynamite I, I will not watch dynamite again I, I gave it a chance for a few months at the beginning and I could listen to Jim Cornette read the phone book so his Analyzations are much preferable to actually watching that shit. But from 
all accounts, Collision does not have that stupid fucking tone uh, throughout. Like, sometimes they can't keep the grubby little mitts of those people pushing that awful tone off of it. But I'd like to give that one a shot. That, that one appears to be trying to be something different and not a, a, a different WWE. There's so many tones. You can do so much uh, with, with wrestling when you go back and look in the olden days of how diff different regions, different territories did different things from silly to sports like to ultra violent. Well, that, that was Detroit. That's how Detroit died in wrestling. They died a lot, a lot of paces. Detroit did. Sorry, Detroit. Um, was the Sheik having the ultra violence there for too long and that being his home territory. All right, I, for, I forgot I had that. It makes sense that Nikocado has the poison mist to me. <laughs> All right, can we submit you? I think this is a submission. Nope, can't submit it yet. Submit him yet. Did I? No, I didn't equip a second finisher or anything. Couple abilities I equipped before I came on stream. I realized I didn't have to wait till the very end to equip those abilities. And that's it, right? No! Powerhouse Hobbs living up to his name and being a powerhouse in this match. Oh, maybe I need to push it. I'm going to try to steal his move. I think I know what I did wrong. I think I pushed the wrong direction and yes! This is his finishing move. Take that. Ha ha ha. Oh, he's got the bailout ability. That's definitely one I equip with everyone. The bailout ability there. Yeah, I'm got, I've gotten used to this hard difficulty. I can possibly take it up to the hardest difficulty. Tag matches, I, I need to take it down to fucking easy, apparently. Oh, he did win the one. I'm 50-50 I'm uh, in today's stream, that's right, for the tag matches. Oh, that's the same move. I, I like to do a variety of moves. Sometimes, you, you know, just like muscle memory. If anyone is a fan of pinball, you end up hitting uh, the same ramp again and again because you just get in a groove and the muscle memory and here we go shattered dreams gold dust especial whoop whoop hit, hit it a little too late he's pissed but let me do your own finisher on you again and you're done you're done If I had a bail and drop, I, I would put it there. Uh, let's see, where did I leave off? Good idea. Interviews with extreme super chatters would be interesting. That uh, jo Joey C is in a league of his own with super chatters, and I'm uh, I'm about uh, ten, I need ten times more subscribers and uh, watch hours. So r right now, just getting in my groove, not. Focusing on that too much since we're a, a bit away. Uh, do, do I have my uh, shill segment? Uh, like, subscribe, chat, comment, and then more people will see it. And sometimes I go over the top, but now I'm just showing my contempt for doing segments like this. But the fact that they need to be done is a thing. Shill, 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 shill. Back to the chat. And moving forward in the next match uh, or next week, uh, DG is is all right. Uh, you, yeah, since he's in uh, uh, been with uh, uh, our our buddy uh, J Joey C, I, I was assuming he was more of a loose cannon as well. I don't know too much about him than that time that he was very quiet in his uh, appearance. We shall return the favor on un bugging him. <laughs> You're getting the pests. De De La getting the old pests back together from the ONA. They love that type of shit. I could send him a message and see if he'll have you on. Um, 
I, I suppose I should start reaching out. I'm, uh, I've said I'm like the anti Joey C. I've reached out uh, to uh, a few people like once a month. Uh, I'll, I'll reach out uh, to uh, some people. And I think it's about a month since I reached out to Cardiff. I've got a different concept to pitch to him. Yeah, he didn't bite on the first one. I sent the same concept to someone else. They didn't bite. So hope to do that with someone. Hope someone will bite on that uh, concept soon. But I've got a different one to pitch to Cardiff to see if he would uh, go for it. Any comments on John quitting? Um, we have to see if he quit. Uh, live streaming is like a drug to stuttering John Melendez. Did he have a moment of clarity and realize that uh, snorting these live streams is bad for his brain? And or, or is it a long term realization uh, of uh, because he could he could start cutting up some more lines and live streaming to 300 people? It's it's going down. I, th I think it's the 800 uh, not having the 800 anymore uh, as he did on that very first stream. I, I think I think it's hitting him uh, is um, I'm, I'm not sure that that he's gone yet we'll, we'll see how the um but but that was a flash that, that was a funny little flash if he if stuttering john is gone for good that uh he he came back just in time to fucking ruin my concept of stuttering john's shuli detractor show i rewrote the scripts they were kind of the same but that was I, I did like more prep work and gave that more thought those three episodes than like john did in this entire run just going through reddits because I spent two weeks workshopping the 60 minute version of the Shuli detractor show. I was like, ah, I don't think this works. It's mean spirited. I sound like a crazy person as I did in the first part of the Val Venus co-host, uh, audition episode. Uh, I agreed with Val on a lot of points and he, he says them like a crazy person, but the second part of the video where he barges into a courthouse, <laughs> no, I don't agree with him at all. He goes full Karen Venus in that second segment of the Valvina's co-host audition. All right. So far I'm, I've uh, got, got the streak going to keep De La around, put down the ranch. Yeah. I'm a little late, late. Uh, we've hopefully there's a ranch, um, uh, weapon. There's like over 60 weapons in here and he's done. He put down the ranch in that last match. Powerhouse Hobbs did. Now let's see if we can put down the ranch in this match. Oh, that that would be a fun creative player too if we were able to create Balin. It, it's the put down the ranch. No one gets up once you put down the ranch. Darby, very charismatic. He's a little teeny teeny guy. Oh, fuck, it's a ladder match. But yeah, he earns his place as a, as a top guy, does Darby Allen, uh, because he is very charismatic. Oh, wow. I, my, uh, I changed how fast my momentum goes up. It goes up real fucking quick now. And a hundred-year-old song for everyone. Nikocado Avocado, very much the entertainer out there in Las Vegas. Ah, damn it. Ladder match. Oh, wrong guy. He reversed. Owie. Oh, shit. The shill segment's still over my head. Oh, because I was doing chats. I never took it down when I was doing chats. And we'll uh, get back to those where I left off after this in-ring action. After we put down the ranch. we got to figure out what move put down the ranch is. Is that a suplex or a power bomb that put down the ranch? Stupid me. I bead when I was supposed to Y. 
when you French fry when you're supposed to pizza and pizza when you're supposed to French fry, you're going to have a bad time. I'm not hitting that button. That's another glitch of when I'm hitting the button to do a move, sometimes it breaks up the grapple. Big patch, and this game does have a long life. There's some saying that it's dead already. We need patches. We, we need updates. Very good base, this game is. And once someone called this a beta build, I can't unsee it. It's a solid beta build that they sold us for $60. Thanks to my roommate once again for buying this for me. Because I was like, oh, I'll buy it eventually when it's on sale. I buy like nothing unless it's on sale. Which button? Which button? That button. And is it this button? What does this button do? Not, not a big fan of these ladder matches, so I haven't had much experience with them to get used to the control scheme of winning these. Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. <sighs> All right, you guys stink. You, you let Nikocado Avocado climb up and down a ladder multiple times. Ah, oh, that was easier than I thought it would be. Uh, let's see, we put down the ranch. Uh, keep working on it. It'll come. Uh, would you like to do a? a uh, oh yeah, I'm am definitely down for a creep off uh, a after show. Uh, that's uh, what am I doing? My oh, usually right after the creep off, I'm I'm walking the dogs. Uh, you guys, uh, I can I can put that off or do that before the show uh, to make an appearance. Uh, uh, my, my errands can be uh, shuffled around. That that's not a thing that must be done at that exact moment. I can hop on. I believe uh, De La over on Bill Loney's channel. Uh, they come on with the creep off uh, wrap up show. Fifteen minutes, about fifteen minutes after uh, Monday's episode has a lot of hype of the uh, creep off after show. LOL, that the episode that never was says De La always hit record is my new mantra. Record always hit record is my new mantra. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I have comprehension skills uh, reading these chats. Uh, it, uh, with, with me, it's the sound quality. There is one episode of Stuttering John's Shuli Detractor Show. I did not check uh, the audio inputs, and it defaulted to the fucking... Like, uh, the best version of... I think it was episode two. Episode two, the power went out at some point for, like, 20 minutes in, in the morning. It wasn't raining or anything, but it was a... Oh, and these are, are copyright. Why would you copyright those? It was a comedy of errors getting the uh, stuttering john truly detractor show done uh you so you did you did the episode and Streamyard didn't even like Streamyard will save it if you hit record damn it uh, yeah gotta look for the for the red uh, oh, uh, gotta look you gotta make sure you got red on me over on Streamyard. except when stevie lou is on uh, oh uh yeah that's a good time to not hit record uh, if he's your, your first guest, go ahead and hit record after his segment. Stuttering John character? Um, Stuttering John w would be a fun one. Yeah, I try to look for the created characters that uh, l lend themselves to, um, like, what, what can I create? It's so basic. It is really basic. So I'm looking for anything to signify this looks like somebody. I, I think the toe tapper was the was the entertainer. Uh, so, some of these uh, DMCA free songs. It's like, all right, thank you for not seeking money for this. This is an all right one. Don't forget tomorrow's episode on Chris Chan. Yes, tomorrow's co-host audition uh, special episode edited by Dabble Storian. Uh, I was talking of I don't know a Chris Chan episode. Maybe there would be some captain's logs and Dabble Storian uh, put together. Uh, a he calls it a um, tonight show style and a, a late show style that he put these clips together for the Chris Chan co-host audition tomorrow. De La saying he's not in charge anymore. If I keep running through these singles matches, I'm gonna have to go ahead and, and up the difficulty because we do, you know, we do we do want to struggle with without struggle. Uh, you're Tony Khan. What a boring thing to be. De La not looking forward to that.
Okay, get in my belly. Uh, nicely done. It works very well for this fat bastard. And I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. You're going to make me hungry. I didn't have a big breakfast. I almost never do. More of a big lunch guy. Actually, I'm not going to go over... <laughs> I was going to get into the nitty-gritty of how I, how I eat throughout the day. That's more of a boring topic. We'll, we'll ramble on about wrestling or something else. Workout. Eh, yeah, let's, let's get into workout. We'll get more points. And then we will go to one match and then the other match. Don't forget Dayla's exclusive interview on Wednesday using questions from the Dabble Storian. Dabble Storian get, getting around. He is over there on Bill Loney's channel yesterday. Got some questions that he's writing up for Dayla on Wednesday. And uh, did you say that's a that's a Joey C on Wednesday with uh, Dayla? And uh, yeah, this this week big week for Dabble Storian hitting up uh, my channel, Bill Loney's channel, and Dayla's channel. We are now on to the chill music mix. We were on the upbeat music, and now we have several tracks of chill music to go through here on NPR. DG, that's that's right. Exclusive interview with DG with Dela this Wednesday. Creators unite! A absolutely, I'm I'm ready to. Uh, I've been doing my own thing, trying to get my um, footing uh, under me, and yeah, I'm I'm ready to jump jump into doing some more things with more creators. Abs absolutely. Yeah, the first month was just me getting my feet under me. I, I uh, plugged my channel more to people who knew me, not so much um, outside, as I was just you know get, getting used to it my first episode on dark side phil like i'm really uh dreading to go back to that and uh li listen through that i'm i'm fearful my second episode on dark side phil i distinctly remember like that that felt good that felt all right and i dropped the larger banner of the ramblin dabbler which i was going to call all videos i was going to have that under that podcast but i was like no nah, co-host auditions is his own thing I've often called it the happy days to the uh, love American style that the Ramblin' Dabbler was. Happy days stays, love American style, you're off the schedule. And here is Orange Cassidy, the disco inferno that I would, if he was... You got to put people in the proper role. If he was in the proper role of getting his ass handed to him most of the time, I would like him. But the the fact that he's just so dominant with his I don't care, I don't give a fuck uh, style. Yeah, we might... This next match might be worth it to go up to the next difficulty. I am I am starting to run through these singles matches. Time to up the difficulty. WrestleQuest coming up uh, two weeks. Uh, Role-playing game. I, I think it's a turn-based uh, combat when you get in the ring. I'm lo looking forward to it. I love the independent games made by small teams i actually stumbled upon one called dig dog uh developed by a, a guy who's he was either an ampu amputee or uh just paralyzed from the neck down that coded it with his mouth I, i'm like I need, I need to buy that for five dollars just because that's that's amazing you know a take on uh D dig dog not Anything, anything crazy, but it's a five dollar game. It's it's on the uh, five dollar level of little fun uh, NES callback. Dabble Storian's favorite question for Dela to ask GG is if he likes cheese. Orange Cassidy does not give a fuck. 
but is still somehow the most dominant force in all of the elite wrestling. I hope we don't see more Young Bucks. I already did my Young Bucks rant. They're, they've got the opportunity to show me that they are professionals and not children by losing to FDR at Wimbley. They're not going to do it. They're going to prove their children. We wanted to win in front of the biggest crowd. Prove me wrong. I will, I will say you guys are professional and you deserve your position as EVPs if the Young Bucks lose to FTR at Wembley in front of tens of thousands of fans. Ah, fuck it. 78. Let's not, let's not waste the time. Yeah, I, I don't need to use my match points. I don't care. You didn't make it fun enough. You put the mini games somewhere completely separate, and most of them I don't like. Do you like cheese? If so, what's your favorite? I'm a big fan of goat cheese. I like goat cheese on pizza. There, uh, there is a couple places in town that uh, do a goat cheese variation with pizza. One, it's like the base. Uh, the other one, it's like a topping. I'm like, oh, I kind of feel misled. You said there's goat cheese. I thought it was the main cheese. Look, love me some nacho cheese. Cheddar, sharp cheddar. What, what, what am I quoting there? If I were just Gouda, Provolone, Munster, White Cheddar, Feta. Thank you, Dela. Feta is good on salad. I think of Feta as as the uh, salad. Oh damn it! I didn't up the difficulty. I was supposed to up the difficulty. Yeah, definitely think of feta as the salad cheese. I put that, that shit on salads. Dustin Rhodes. Like, he, he should have had a main event run. Didn't necessarily need to be a world champion, but he's been consistently very good and, and better. Booker T and Gold Dust. Anyone remember the Booker T-Gold Dust combo? That could have been a uh, a main event program between Dustin Rhodes and Booker T had the circumstances been right and like he wanted to get out of his dad's shadow how like people know gold dust there are a lot of people who don't uh, do not know who the Rhodes family are in wrestling that know gold dust so he's he uh, did what he set out to do and he had a big feud with his dad at the time. Dusty and Dustin had a falling out over uh, Terry Runnels. Dustin was like, that, that that girl ain't no good for you. And he's like, I'm married to her. You're talking about the mother of my children. I, I love my grandbaby, but I do not love that woman, Dustin. She is gonna take, she's no good. And at some point, Dusty was proved right about good old Oh, right? I think that was her maiden name. Uh, they were uh, Rich, she was from a Richie Rich family in Florida. I know that much. I ran into people who had some stories of the boat rights. And I was like, ooh, feed me more. I want those more than Ry Ryback wants jobbers. I recently watched Booker T's... Booker T did not have a fight with Steve Austin in a grocery store. Uh, it's a sketch where Steve Austin handed Booker T's ass to him in a grocery store. And this is a real location. They went in every single aisle, up one and down the other. And Booker T got offense, like two offensive moves. And threw Stone Cold into a, into a fridge. And Austin emerging from the, uh, from the fridge with, with, was it milk? It was like a horror monster. Like, he's in the fridge. I'm safe. I'm finally away from Austin, who was absolutely myrtleizing me. <laughs> and there he is. Okay, upping the difficulty, upping the difficulty. We are going to up the difficulty. It looks like I have mastered the hard difficulty. 
except with tag matches because tag matches stink right now and they need some fixes. Whoops, that done. Uh, all right. Got him. Didn't mean to send him to the most close corner where I would have no time to react. Oh, I wanted the other one. It, I know the buttons for the most part. Sorry about that, Pop. Shouldn't have said button like that. Ow. Owie. Yeah, we're kicking this game's ass. Up the difficulty. I'm going to keep saying it. Up the difficulty. Up the difficulty. Up the difficulty. We, we need... We need some drama. We, we just don't want to win, 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 win. Now, watch. As soon as I up the difficulty, I'm going to get a string of tag matches. Which, as I said, I want to put on easy. Because, actually, no, they're just glitched. We, we've uh, experienced a lot of glitches in the uh, tag team matches. I would just like to stay away from them even more than I would like to um, put it on easy. Uh, do I think a &E's biography is a ripoff of Dark Side of the Ring, Dela asks. Well, the, the biographies are uh, WWE associated. Uh, that, that's the big difference is like they're, they're basically a puff piece. The producer is WWE. And uh, they did do a series of biographies on A&E in the 90s. Andre, Owen Hart. It was a week of them. I remember a week of them. Uh, I, f I forget the other ones, but they, they did have a week of biography biographies on A&E in the 90s not associated with WWE, but the uh, the dark side of the ring, uh, yeah, they're, they're trying to do like crime drama-esque uh, uh, as they're getting into the seedy, like, like not crime drama, just analyzing the seedier aspects with the uh, personalities. Joey C is such a hothead that he doesn't run his Twitter. I would love to, it, like, when I get a producer, uh, hopefully when I get a producer, that's going to be one of their uh, first things of, like, I, I don't want to do this social media. Uh, uh, difficulty, 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 difficulty. Hard elite. All right. Difficulty up. We should have a challenge. Hopefully we have a challenge now. Because I was kicking that one-on-one -on -one hard's ass too much. We, w we want a challenge here. I want to lose some. What fun is it to win all the time? And once again, go on the dark side, Phil, there. You see, you pay money to win, and then you get a picture of your favorite wrestler. Look, I've got Muhammad Ali, and I've got Alexa Bliss. <laughs> okay, I already read that one. Yeah, Joey C., it it is a hothead it's yeah the the unpre the unpredictable people uh like uh, getting together with devil story and de la Billoni, you, you all see, seem like uh cool cool dudes uh, to, uh joey c is more of an unpredictable person <laughs> absolutely okay we up the difficulty let's see how we do against malachi black whose ass has been handed to him in this game God damn! What a record on Nikocado Avocado seventeen and four, where as DMX is like twenty three and twenty three or something like that. Or, or no, there's a shitload more matches I had with him. Yeah, DMX is like fifty fifty. Malachi Black playing mind games. All right, give me a challenge. Give me a challenge, Malachi. I just upped the difficulty and the uh, the skills, the skill points I used to up uh, Nikocado's momentum. Uh, I may have put it too high. His momentum goes really quick. That's uh, something maybe in other creative players. I, I won't. I won't touch. I won't put up as high. So I have a little bit of a challenge. It, it's really easy to get my finishing move to compared to what it was last stream. So yeah, maybe Ejo del Diablo when I do his run through, I won't give him those. 
uh, those abilities. The momentum being that much of a swing. Ah. And that's his finishing move. Can I hit it again? Can I hit it again? And his finishing move. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, big momentum swing. Big momentum swing. The finisher block apparently also has a big momentum swing with it. There we go. We are in the danger zone. Challenge, just as I asked for it. Nicely done, Mr. Black. Mr. Black. Simpsons joke for those who who don't remember. Mr. Black. Nikocado Avocado is hard to root for, De La. I put his... He's a bad guy. Uh, do fans boo him or cheer him? He absolutely gets booed by the fans. There is some... Uh, DMCA music in here. That's why I chose music. And, and just in general, seeing... Um, it was Dark Viper AU. Seeing his Grand Theft Auto 5 streams with his accumulated DMCA free music that I was like, oh, oh that's that's solid. That's a, that's a good alternative option. Ah, oh, damn it. I hit the same button again. That we, We've seen that move. Let, let's show the people some different moves, uh, Avocado. Yeah, will we play this next week? If I'm kicking this much ass, well, well hopefully we get some online. Uh, maybe next week we'll try online because that's more unpredictable. The uh, people factor. Uh, yeah, I, I want to lose sometimes. And it looks like my uh, uh, skillery here after a few weeks, appears to be uh, somewhat mastered. Somewhat crisp mastered. Uh, got, got our steroids. You can also change their personality, uh, I guess, for interactions. And his personality is that of a monster. So... That, uh, someone who eats mukbang for years on end uh, I, I felt uh, that, that, that's proper they, they, they're a monster uh, DMX's personality uh, what, what was it uh, they don't have a dick on there but it was basically like a, 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 this guy's a dick yeah that sounds like DMX especially when he hasn't had his crack this week well he doesn't have his crack any week now he's smoking his crack up in heaven I think I found a dead streamer on uh, TikTok Live last night. I got eight minutes of a, of a gamer who um, thinks dead. I've got to upload that to the who are these uh, socials portion of the WATP. I, I've got a I've got a whole folder actually. I, I need to start uploading those. I was sending them to Carl, but now that they have a Discord, it makes sense. Damn it! I, well, well, actually, there's only two moves that can happen from the back. <laughs> but fucking a ball tickling happens from the back. Fuck yeah, Chippa. Thank you. Uh, free music available. Just credit the people. Uh, yeah, the uh, I I didn't get together the list from. Uh, f I'm I'm being a, a very yeah. Pl Plenty of free music available. Just cr credit the people. I am being a terrible, terrible person, and I haven't put together the list of this downloaded music from HappySoulMusic.com is where I got this from. And it says you don't need to credit us. We'd like it to. And I, uh, so far, I've been a massive cunt by not crediting those people. And I will absolutely acknowledge that. Whoops. I should have wrote those down and put them on a title card. SoundCloud is a good sure scores. Oh no, DMX rip. Uh, R.I.P. DMX. Yeah, he was. Uh, he had his. He was on a hell of a streak for a while, where his album would debut at number one every time. I stopped paying attention at some point. I don't know uh, how long that lasted. Uh, but yeah, De La uh, suggesting SoundCloud. Um, happy Soul Music is where I got it. There are some that say you must credit it, and others that say it'd be really nice if you credited us. And 
I need to credit them. I, I, I just spend 20 minutes or less making up the card in Photoshop. Did that say he's getting a lettuce wrap? That is not a very Nikocado thing. Lettuce Surprise. Oh, that's that's the name. The Pittsburgh salad is from Let Us Surprise You in Pittsburgh. Mm, very funny pun, Mr. Omega. YouTube's audio li library is all copyright free. I I uh, actually just noticed that's a thing. Uh, when, when I went back, uh, I had to edit the last TikTok around the clock. The second Nina Conti segment uh, got a copyright notification on it. Just go to dynamite. So had to take out those couple of minutes with her doing a uh, puppet. Yeah, I, uh, I'm. I'm. I, I like to credit people. The uh, TikToks I've been crediting regularly. The uh, very actually, I, I have it here somewhere. Yeah, I can just verbally say it at the end. L let me verbally say it this time. So at the at the end, going through those credits. Yeah, I I don't want to be the douchery, and not and not credit them, and just be like, well, well nothing I can do about it. I I didn't uh, I didn't write it down. It's here somewhere that I can s say instead of uh, bringing up the card at the end. That's what I'll do. Oh, Cody Rhodes. We have got a, a plunder match with Cody Rhodes. Plunder at Deathly Rhodes with Thad Baby. Okay, yeah, there we go. There, there's the files. I will just read those once we are once we are done. That's how I will do it this week. Instead of like, I'll do it next week, like like I was the, last week. Very unprofessional of me last week to just be like, I'll I'll make up the card. And to do that two weeks in a row, well, I'll make up the card. I personally would have taken Cody Rhodes out of this. It dates the game too much. They do need more star power in this game. Wow, this is the elite difficulty. And I'm not I'm not having uh, too much trouble with it. I was hoping the... Uh, further difficulty and yeah, next week we're gonna have to play either online or, or a different game i have i've really gotten the hang of this fighting system and it is a callback to, to the old to the old system we used to love in the late 90s early aughts having the two different strikes the high and the low strike that's another reason to compare it to Def Jam Fight for New York, which had the high and the low strikes. Owie. And we've got about 30 more minutes left in the stream. I think so. Are we at, uh, did we do the one pay-per-view? And, and you see me just not paying attention to any of the cutscenes or anything. The, uh, the any times I have, they've been so bad. And it's, it's a miss to me. This, uh, c career mode is a miss. They focus very much on let's get this career mode just like No Mercy with the different blocks that, uh, that, yeah, it's, you focused on the wrong things, Kenneth Omega. Dela, yeah, bringing up the environmental attacks. Those environmental attacks kicked ass. That I think that was not really seen much yet at, at the time of being able to uh, throw your opponent uh, into the crowd and then they'll they will break a bottle over his head. I think that was my favorite environmental attack was be, being around being in the bar and you could throw them oh wow really i guess i didn't mash enough they they should have a uh uh they should have a meter to tell me you're not mashing enough you're talking too much and not uh, and not mashing enough
And that was uh, some good knockouts, too. Uh, the environmental attacks. Oh, I never took myself into the smaller view. Eh. Whatever. Uh, the uh, bashing a guy up against the wall. Uh, oh, th like the uh, the pool table stomp was another really, uh, really fun, really violent environmental attack in uh, Fight for New York. Uh, the jukebox uh, was the one De, De La liked. The, the pool table, it, now that it's coming back to my mind, I think those are my top two, was the pool table stomp and the people in the audience that would break the bottle over, over their head. Oh shit, do some of these not have the artist? Uh, looks like just one that doesn't have the artist uh, when to credit the people. And actually, that's Blippy Trance. Oh my God, I've I've had Blippy Trance on TikTok around the clock for weeks. Oh boy, I need I need to repent to the content gods for not giving credit to that music for multiple weeks in a row. That that's uh, that's bad on my part. I uh, it's newly introduced this month, and I've been doing it wrong. I will acknowledge that. Um, I'm gonna have to get out the cat of nine tails and whip myself until I have uh, repented enough for being a creator myself and not giving other creators the proper credit for using their goods and services. Warrior needs food badly. Yeah, it's just such nothing conversations. Why I'm hitting start instead of the back and forward. And um, yeah, fried chicken does sound good. No, no, we're not going out today. We're saving money today. We will go out another day, maybe Tuesday. No, not today. Today is money saving day. No fried chicken for me. Week three in the road to double or nothing. Oh, we're almost done. E excellent. Uh, yeah, the way I've, I've been flying through this, uh, the, uh, we are at, uh, coming up on double or nothing. So this won't be a two hour stream, but I've, uh, I've just been kicking its ass except for, uh, Cody Rhodes there who, who kicked my ass. My button mashing was off. 20 and five. Oh, very all elite wrestling, as I said, that he is 20 and 5, and DMX is 33 and 33. And that's another thing. Like, it sounds like a good idea to put the wrestlers' records, but um, that's it's actually something. Like, Ric Flair, didn't he lose 60% of the time showing the fans that this bad guy is losing more than half of the time? It, it takes away some of the uh, fear that he should be instilling in the hearts. Devil story, and I have actually thought about that. <laughs> Creating acapella streams. Uh, I have been speaking to uh, someone who I could get a theme from. Uh, a, a theme song... Actually, in the notes, I have it right next to a photo shoot of uh, of what it would cost. Damn it, I'm doing that too much. I need to make it more of a variety for you folks. But, uh, yeah, picturing a uh, oh, how many piece band that I wanted and uh, what style of, of music I, wa I wanted to have, as well as, you know, intro, outro, and, and little jingles. So, yeah, there are a couple of routes I, c I can go. Uh, for now, I, I went very campy uh, with the A-Show, with the co-host auditions. Oops. I was looking away because I thought I was doing my taunt. I must have hit it just a moment beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that was a spin kick or a drop kick option. Anything wh where Nikocado Avocado leaves his feet. I was like, ah, don't you have anything else where he doesn't leave his feet? Oh, we got Christian down good. Yeah, this, uh, switching it up from hard 
to the elite difficulty didn't make too much a difference. I am still whipping the single player's ass. And we are on week three before uh, double or nothing. So we don't have too much further to go in this Nikocado Avocado road to the elite. Oh, look at him blocking. Glad, glad I stopped short. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, excuse me for that noise into the mic. Actually, I want to change this to a finisher or a signature. Vader bomb by... No oh, no! He's going to small package me. It could be over. My button mashing was awful on Cody. Is it going to be awful on Christian? No, it is not. Yeah, meter. Give us a button mash meter in one of the updates that... It appears to be a bad relationship all around with the publisher, the developer, and AEW, by the way. <laughs> From what we've... Ah, oh, damn it. I'm doing the bear hug way too much. From what we've seen, none of them appear to be getting along with each other. And they've got this game that's fight forever. It's supposed to be uh, around for a while and get updates and stuff based on what you were selling us, Mr. Khan. Or were you just being a... Ah, uh, <laughs> how, how appropriate for Nick Akato to crash and burn when he would try to do something spectacular. Looks more like he's making out with him than he's biting him, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm really handing the ass to the computer here. Uh, next week, definitely going to have to switch it up because I'm not doing a four-hour stream to get through the uh, career mode with another player. I'm, ju I'm just handing the ass to the computer to itself. Uh, maybe I am ready for those hardcore matches that I just outright said fuck you and skipped on the last... Uh, the last uh, blah, 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 that's what I'm looking for run through the last playthrough of this career yes a acapella <laughs> actually there was one song in particular I was thinking of doing it to on a uh, if I if I start doing movie reviews um, I'm getting in a groove now of this being very easy for me to do these shows. Time to add a layer of difficulty in some edited shows. Uh, movie and TV reviews I've been passionate about for a while. That's what I wanted to launch a channel about. But uh, li live stream streaming is less uh, prep intensive and just the whole process of capturing video, editing video, all that. Um, I had to get my feet wet uh, before jumping on in. I spoke to John and Patrick Michael for a theme song. That would be an amazing collaboration of uh, uh, Stuttering John and Patrick Michael. That that would be uh, something to behold. We would all adore it. Doesn't matter what it sounds like. Whatever genre. It's. Do you guys want parameters? Or, or just go into the studio like John and Joe Walsh and come out with a song about how much Joe Walsh doesn't want to be here and the studio is forcing him. And John didn't realize it all. Yeah, we came up with this song. I don't like you. <laughs> Joe Walsh wrote, I don't like you because that's all he could think about. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll go to dinner and we'll go to Dynamite. Benny Loco is a popular lady. She got 50 views for a video where she got a haircut. Benny Loco... Looking nice with a new haircut. A few dozen people are checking that out. Like a few dozen people ch check out uh, my show here, co-host auditions, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, as well as TikTok around the clock and our gameplay stream, 11.30 a.m. Eastern. I just checked and Joey C is a subscriber to me. He subscribed to me a while ago. He, yeah, I gave him a subscribe back and uh, because it was... You know, uh, I noticed Dayla. I, I gave you a subscribe back already, didn't I, Dayla? I'll, I'll have to check YouTube. I think I gave I gave you a subscribe back. Malachi Black, ah, soul food. I often kick people so hard, their soul expels from their body. There's my fucking rim shot. I'm getting the rim shot out for you. These, boy, these conversations—they are just hilarious, aren't they? 
So sometimes it's nice to intake some soul. Oh, okay. I uh, like the mac and cheese. Disappointing, I thought you would understand. Nope, that's all you, Sir Kicks a lot. If I actually read this dialogue, I need to ha be hovering over that rim shot. Joey C keeping tabs, keeping his friends close, and the people who are not friends. Gotta keep an eye out for them, too. <laughs> Very much like the George W. Bush. <laughs> Won't be fooling me again. Checks hop on the Discord and we'll talk. Yeah, we'll get into that Discord sometime this afternoon. Not long after the stream. I'll, I'll go fiddle fuck around for about an hour and then and then I'll hop back on the internet. Oh, I, I might go down a rabbit hole of editing. I should hop back on the internet before that rabbit hole. Be my lookout in uh, security. Um, well, I don't think Nick Cotto would, would be... Um, yeah, fuck you. We don't like you. If you got busted, it would implicate me. And yes, I am doing the Dark Side Phil uh, impression, which is more of a low-key Louis Anderson impression. If you got busted, it would implicate me, too. I'm not really in management good graces, so kick, kick rocks, kids. I'm going to go get a churro. He would get so many churros. That's lame. You disappoint me. <laughs> oh yeah, you can ride around on the skateboard in this game. I haven't done that yet. Narks get knocks. Ow, you unhinged little fucker. You son of a bitch. Oh, that was supposed to bring my human batteries up. It brought my human batteries down. Oh, they do put things uh, to make this more difficult This, these final weeks brand I, th I think we've gone through we've gone through this at least once right maybe twice we gotta get the Muzak to a new one do a kickflip maybe yeah as I said I haven't done uh, you can get on the uh, you can get on the, the, the skateboard. Maybe you can do a kickflip. I, I know you can get on there. That's all I know. If Dayla's interview goes terribly, will you consider doing a co-host segment on Dela? <laughs> I, I do prefer it being uh, solo. Uh, that, that's I've done uh, just uh, just a few where it's not one singular person. Um, like who, who was uh, Russell Brand? Uh, he interacts a lot with his producer. So that's when I'm like, maybe... And I'm, I'm kind of getting in the groove where it's a uh, low cow one day, wrestling another day, celebrity another day, and Dabbleverse does uh, it fall under that uh, celebrity. They're celebrities to us, even if not the larger world. But the Bubba the Love Sponge show that actually worked out very well because it's almost only Bubba that uh that talks actually a big thanks i don't think mcfoyd's still here a big thanks to him for spamming the chat that actually helped above the love sponge episode that one that one was rough not as rough as jonathan van ness pulling clips from that one his voice reading n no don't knock it off knock it off jonathan van ness reading from the subreddit surfing i did send that that, that one into tukey we'll see if um they they play that one on tukey soup and have anything to say about that copyright infringement, that uh, cease and desist copyright infringement. Did you get it copyrighted, Cardiff? You best of. That's <laughs> something you can get copyrighted. Uh, just like the React people. We, we are going to copyright the word React. That's ours. Oh, hun. That woman, uh, she was on Restaurant Nightmares. That woman who uh, uh, copyrighted the word hun in Baltimore got a trademark on, on the word hun. And that's a regional that's a regional dialect, hon. If you're going to do a Baltimore accent, you're going to say hon at the end of the lot, hon.
like these wrestlers don't have stats, but Kenny Omega does feel a little more powerful than the others. I, I, I say as I own him as muck banging Nikocado Avocado. Okay, we're, we're making time to get out of here right around two hours, it looks like, instead of two and a half hours. I've gotten too good at this game, even switching it up to the elite difficulty, I'm not really feeling a difference. Fuck you, Kenny Omega. I'm gonna eat all of your food when I get back, and the Young Bucks too, you, you, you guys don't eat a lot. And I eat a lot. All at once. I don't have a Nikocado impression. He's, ju he's just the, the, the lazy Louis Anderson, which is also my dark side Phil. Yeah, give me a challenge. Challenge me, Omega. I ran across that uh, the guy from the uh, opening who I asked, doesn't he think the uh, Kenny Omega is overrated? I asked him if he thought John Moxley was overrated this time. He didn't actually answer it. I wonder if he recognized me. It's been a few weeks. He might have forgot, or it might have been a stupid enough question that he remembered. Okay, I think, uh, are we are we done after uh, the pay-per-view match? Owie. Uh, can Nikocado Avocado kick out of the unkick-outable move? That would be fun. Yes! No one in All Elite Wrestling has kicked out of that. I think Ibushi was the last person to kick out of that. And him and Kenny Omega, they were golden lovers together. And I'm not making fun of their their sexuality. That was their tag team name. The Golden Lovers in Japan. So I guess uh, Kenny and Ibushi are into pee. That's what I would take from that. The Golden Lovers. That's what I get out of that name. All right. And now let's steal your finisher. The One Winged Angel. Oh, did did I not hit it right? Oh, they've got they've got his heel move instead of small packaging me. He hits me in the balls. Instead of the small package, it's the hurt package. All right, get up. Get up. And all right, here's the one winged angel. Can we do it? Can we beat him with his own move, which we kicked out of? Which only people who have been inside him have kicked out of. Not inside his head. Do I mean your Danny DeVito from Matilda episode? He, yeah, the uh, uh, host uh, of me wearing the Danny DeVito from Matilda outfit, the Queer Eye guy. Oh, that one That one was rough. The way he talks. Oh, oh man, that, that one is hard to get through putting him, uh, yeah, at, at one and a quarter speed to get through it, and then he's talking so bad that I gotta slow it down. Oh, it's a handicap match, isn't it? I'm sad you couldn't make this avocado so big he can't fit through doorways. Poor game development. Yeah, this is as big as, as the fattest person gets. Uh, if we would have ran across the big show uh, on this stream, De La, you would have been like, what the fuck? That's not the big show, that's the taller than average so the bigger than average show the uh big ish show the uh medium show i think it's just me and Dela here yeah double story and thank you and Dela for sticking around this whole time we've had a few people in and out but you two have been here the whole uh 
mostly the, the whole time. It was very shortly after I, uh, after I started that bo both of you got here. So I'm rounding that up to the whole time. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out here and chatting. Chatting helps. Views help. Comments help. Help helps. Thought I had a wordplay joke there. Nope. Yay. The Joey C Show. Uh, the Joey C Show. D does he still have that fucking lamp in front of the camera? That's that's my biggest gripe. Stop having the lamp in front of the camera. <laughs> I've, I've said uh, th this line throughout this week. Is It looks like the Lord is calling you uh, up into the light when you have the lamp sitting right here. I've got a lamp right, right over there. I don't turn it on and have it in the shot. And this light is uh, brighter. It might not be as awful. Oh, hospital. Damn it. I spent the whole time without getting injured, and I got and I got injured in that last match. You, you get a little special bonus of the infinite cash that I don't need because they give me so much. It was a play on, on uh, Big Show, but uh, my, my wordplay was very amateur there. The biggest show. The, the button. I'm I'm gonna stop. I think I need some more uh, water in order to hydrate my brain to make zingers and quips again. Uh, so, sounds like I'm malfunctioning. Okay, I'm at 100 there. Our heart meter needs some work, so let's go sightseeing. And uh, th these, I don't think I've gone sightseeing yet in this stream. These look like temp art. These all look like they're temporary placeholders so that something better can be put there later. And we're going to chat with Ruby Soho. You don't really seem like a pool bunny type. I'm not. Uh, should I do a lady voice? It's far too bright out here. But if you weren't too bright, but you weren't too bright when you challenged the EVPs of AEW. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got bored with that very quickly. Okay, so we have a handicap match to end this up on. I have been kicking enough ass to where this is warranted. Dabble story, and we did a fuck Mary kill with Vinny Cardiff and John on the snipe stream. What's my answer? Uh, so I've got to fuck a guy in this one, huh? Like, we could have a marriage uh, that, that was uh, sexless, uh, but but i got to do a guy, huh? Uh, so, well, well Cardiff, uh, he has the potato filter on. I, I could fuck him in the potato. Uh, so I guess I'm uh, fucking Cardiff, marrying Vinny, and killing John. Um, yeah. Yep, final answer. That sounds like a hot lady. It sounds as hot as Gabby Tufts. Dayla, do you know Gabby Tufts? Yeah, uh, Gabby Tufts used to be Tyler Rex, and she is transitioning, and she's over there on TikTok being a translate. She's, uh, uh, when uh, first starting the transition, Tyler Rex uh, looked like a guy in a wig, but n n now <laughs> it's, it's getting better. A uh, little, little by little, you're, you're, you're looking better with that transition, Gabby Tufts. Daylaw believes he killed John. Yeah, I, I gotta kill John. Uh, f fuck a potato and marry Vinny. Not attracted to Vinny, so maybe... I think we would have lots of back and forth and fun quips, uh, me and Vinny. We, we could go uh, b back and forth. Uh, a lot of fun conversations, Vinny and I. It's not gay if you bang the potato. Yep, uh, uh, you, you see, I did land on that dabble st story and fucking him in the potato. No, De, De La, you killed Vinny. Oh, wow, De La killed Vinny, according to dabble story. And yeah, I'm, I'm marrying Vinny. I, I think we, we would have a lot of fun conversations together. And good with Cardiff, too. But uh, between marrying the two of them, De La says, no, it was Vinny. We got beef. <laughs> Put that beef on a pizza, and Vinny will forgive you. All right, and here are the two fellas I've been rallying against on the show, saying at Wimbelly, you can 
be a professional or you can be a child. I will be very surprised if they aren't children. Owie. Okay, yeah. This, this is a proper challenge. I, I just said fuck this last time and didn't do this handicap match at the end. This time I've just been running through the competition. <laughs> Air mechanics are a little messed up. So I am going to give this the old try. Oh, look, look at look at Nick and his momentum going way up. Gotta actually mash. Don't half a mash like I did with Cody. What? I mashed. I mashed. I need a meter. I, I call shenanigans on that. That felt like a glitch. I, I, I was mashing. We didn't get too far in. So Nick Akato Avocado had a hell of a run. But in the end, succumbed to the Young Bucks in what I'm calling a glitch. I was mashing. I guess I was mashing. Give me a meter. Where? How close was I? That's something, uh, please add in the, um, in the updates. We need a meter for the button mashing. Uh, that, that felt very odd. The amount of button mashing I was doing and, um, not kicking out at all. You seem like he likes to cuddle. Uh, I'm, I'm a cuddler. M maybe v Vinny's a cuddler, but as, as a married couple, maybe we'll, maybe we'll be asexual. I'm more about the conversation. He seems uh, uh, he, like he likes to cuddle. Uh, yeah, the, the, both both of us are cuddlers. I don't know if we, if we would do it with each other. Um, I do bring polyamory to the table, so uh, there there's that in our sexless marriage where we get along. And the subreddit surfing yesterday, I was in the uh, comments saying uh, that that weird polyamorous marriage that they're telling their family you need to accept. You keep your weird polyamory and kinks away from the family. I, I, I came out to them uh, as as a polyamorous fellow, and you know it, it's like a joke. It's like, what the fuck are you even talking about? You fuck multiple women, and, and it's okay. Emotional relationships, swinging's fun. Swinging's absolutely fun, but uh, polyamory is about e emotional uh, relationship as well as, um the sex stuff you a lot of polyamorous are kink enthusiasts here we're getting our rewards avocado down i, I can't believe the avocado avocado was down and stayed down we, we need a button mashing meter that uh, in both the um the losses you saw me take to cody rhodes and to the young bucks i was like no that didn't seem right really that I needed that much more managing. Oh, and we are the FTR champion. Um, I'll customize my wrestler a little bit. I don't know if we're coming back to this next week because we're we're not doing a four-hour stream. Uh, if I come back to this on the career mode next week, then um, we won't complete it. R Wrestle Quest de definitely happening. Fun independent role-playing game. I'm really into role-playing games. Uh, you, you see, I uh, uh, on this channel some XCOM two streams I did. I love XCOM War of the Chosen, um, but it's it's obscure. This uh, one of the videos got two views. So let's let's go ahead and uh, try some other games while we're throwing in uh, gameplay uh, onto these streams. Dela is getting into the Lady Die stuff. Oh, are you just getting into Lady Die, Dela? Lady Di, um, I, the the early years of her and Marion, I actually ha haven't heard much from, but her really going down where Jim Norton just has contempt for her being a deadbeat mother, and her going further down, look, like he really does have hate in in his voice for like you are such a disgusting pig going further down into the bottle. You're you're gonna drown in the bottle, and she did. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's uh, uh, passed away a few years ago, and she was not on the same plane as everyone else was. Pillow talk. Yeah, po polyamory has pillow talk. Swinging has no pillow talk. That's uh, one of the big differences in the... Um, uh, don't spoil. Oh, shit. Did I already spoil? Um, fuck. 
I wasn't keeping up with the, with the lives. Um, it's a storied history. I hope I hope I didn't spo spoil too too much for you <laughs> there. Uh, shit. <laughs> Bill Loney wants to make a wheel of meat intro. Uh, wheel of uh, I remember the wheel of fish. Uh, Weird Al's wheel uh, wheel of fish uh, was was a fantastic uh, wheel of meat. Has that been somewhere, or is that unique to Bill Loney? She didn't die. No spoilers there. Okay, I, I was asking. She is still among the living, but I will stop commenting on, on her future for the little drips and drabs I, I gave Dela there. She is w w uh, one of the more uh, reoccurring uh, Scorch's Meal of Wheat. Uh, me the Wheel of Meat. That's right. It was the Wheel of Meat by Scorch. And that was the one where he would slap it down against the desk, right? Tell me what this meat is off the Wheel of Meat. I don't think I. Oh yeah, I did. I did listen to the Scorch episode. Scorch still doing the Scorchy thing, and I could have done that after the stream, so I didn't get all ha ah, on ya. Thanks for joining, uh, Double Storian, Dayla, McFoyd stopped in, uh, King of all diffs. Thanks for dropping in. I don't know if gameplay is your type of thing, but you came in and said hi real quick. Thanks for dropping into this stream, Chris Chan. Co-host audition tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. Hannibal TV on Tuesday. And I'm searching over a few. Uh, Dela had a suggestion. Dabble Storian uh, sent along the uh, YouTuber. YouTuber. You sent along the YouTuber that you were suggesting. Possibly that one on Wednesday. Uh, not sure. Maybe a celebrity. I, I'm, I don't think I'm ready to do another John. Uh, I'll, I'll do another John in, in about three weeks. Um, Casey Armstrong, he's been improving slightly. I will, I will come back to him in a little while. His co-host audition, he improved ever so slightly. Very frustrating, that episode that I watched. Less frustrating than the first one, though. So um, Casey Armstrong, it won't be. He'll be in a few weeks. Someone. Wednesday is my celebrity co-host audition. We do have the screen caps for the TikTok around the clock, so we will be editing those. We have, I, I believe, there's some new and, and returning. Uh, we'll, we'll see if the returning weirdos make it to the final. Ooh, that that Natty the Batty, Natty the Batty. I think I need to screen cap an hour of her TikTok live show. It doesn't air anywhere else. But uh, she, uh, a male to female um, transgender lady, she is shows a lot of low cow type of behaviors. She uh, she might be one to watch. Bill Loney and me talk O and A all the time. Yeah, I'm uh, get, gonna have to accept that Discord uh, invitation and uh, bullshit some O and A with you. I, I got into them after they were off the air. I got into Opie and Anthony when they were already not doing anything anymore on YouTube. I was a devout Howardist, uh, How Howard Stern, uh, telling us that the these clones aren't anything to watch. And I listened because I was drinking that Kool-Aid. But thank goodness that there are so many clips on YouTube catching uh, fools like me up with what I was missing all those years with Opie and Anthony. So that's the schedule for the week, as usual, Sunday through Thursday, 11.30 a.m. We'll keep that going until I get a job. Uh, look, looking at a place that won't kill my uh, spirit like the last place I worked at did. Ooh, my spirit took a beating. Still kicking the cigarette habit. Down to three or less a day, where it was up all the way to seven a day there when I was just miserable. Uh, thank you for joining. Now, go away and check out my other videos.